Hi friends and welcome to day 21 of Vlogmas and today is an interesting video. I had no idea what I was going to film today so that was kind of like up in the air for me but then when I got on YouTube I saw that G over at Book Roast did a video called favorite items from book boxes in 2019 and that really inspired me so that is the video I'm doing today. Now I didn't actually watch the video so I don't know how she went through and described things or if this is even going to be the same video but it did like the title itself did inspire this video so I just wanted to shout her out so I'm not taking any of her credit but yeah, let's jump on in. So all of these items are items that I have received in a book box or some sort of like special edition box from a book box company and these have all come out in 2019 and I only know that because I have only started this since 2019 and I've received all of these this year so I will do my best to try to say which ones that each item is from but I probably will miss a few so I'm gonna just link everything down below to be sure based on what book box it came from, what month it was, and who the artist was. So let's go. So the first item I know came from the year six magical edition crate from LitJoy and that is this pygmy puff. A pygmy puff that you get to own. It is so cute. And here it is. It comes in the cutest little cage and the cage opens up so you can actually take your pygmy puff out. And it's just the cutest little thing. I love it. Probably my favorite item from the LitDroid crate box. It's just, look how precious. And it does come with a little adoption card as well. So I still need to name my pygmy puff. The next item also came from the Magical Edition crate. This one was from year 7.1, which I just opened this week. And that is these magnetic bookmarks, particularly this Hagrid and Harry writing in Sirius's motorbike. I think that is the cutest little bookmark ever. And I will definitely be using it when I reread the Harry Potter series. <laughs> The last thing from the Magical Edition crate that I really, really loved, it's super silly, but I love these trading cards, and I picked my favorite one, which is Hagrid, of course, because Hagrid is just the best character, and just the big cinnamon roll, and I just love Hagrid, and he even has Norbert on her shoulder, and I just love it, but also, including these trading cards, I also really loved the tarot cards that Fairy Loot was doing, and they did a Harry Potter series, and I really loved the Luna Lovegood card. I loved all of these, and I loved all of these, but these two were my favorites from the decks. Next, I believe this came in Owl Crate, maybe Fairy Loot, but I'm pretty sure it was Owl Crate. And it's a tote bag that says Dream of Something Wild and Improbable by Lainey Taylor. And if you don't know, this is a Strange the Dreamer quote, and I loved that book this year. And out of all the book boxes that I opened this year, I'm only keeping two of the tote bags, and this is my favorite of the two, so I think that says a lot. <laughs> Next, I received a book sleeve that is inspired by A Darker Shade of Magic. I am almost positive this came from a Fairy Loot box, so I think it might have been like the August Fairy Loot box. I might be completely wrong on that. But I know it was fairy loot and on the front is Kel and Lila and then on the back is just the four different Londons, um, Red London, White London, Grey London, and Black London and I love this book sleeve. I've recently gotten into a really heavy like obsession with book sleeves. I just bought a pack of like I think eight for $30 which I'm super excited about but yes. This one is my favorite of them all. Next was an item I received in my very first book box ever, and I love this hat. Like, I wear it a lot. It says Accio Books on it, and it came in the February Owl Crate, and I just love it. So I'm gonna put it on so you guys can see. But look how cute it is. I love this, and the purple is such a nice purple, and yes, very cute hat. Next was a bath bomb from Fairy Loot, and this came in, I forget which month it was, but it was in the Witches Be Crazy themed box. I think it was September, and no, it might have been October, inspired by like Halloween. But this bath bomb was green, and it came in a cauldron, 
and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. It smelled so, so good, and then when you put it in water, it like bubbled like a cauldron. Coolest bath bomb experience ever, and then the cauldron you get to keep afterwards, so this is the perfect little prop to put on my Harry Potter shelves. Next is this Starfall A Court of Mist and Fury inspired candle, and I forget which box this came in. I think it came in Fairy Loots. I forget which month, but it was the one that had the beholder, the book in it and it smells so good it actually smells a lot like anthony's favorite soap so i think that's why i love it and this is my favorite scene and the artwork of it is incredible and i just want like a large print of that and yeah i just really love this candle and oh, like it smells so good but i don't want to light it and like lose the candle so i'm torn Next are these bookmarks from Shelf Love Crate. I actually didn't order the Shelf Love Crate crate, but they came in a mystery box from someone. So that's the only reason I know they're from Shelf Love Crate, but they are wand sticky notes. And I'm definitely gonna be using these when I annotate Harry Potter for the first time. So I'm super excited about that. Next is this deck of playing cards that are inspired by the A Darker Shade of Magic series. So yeah they are gorgeous let me pull them out so like just as an example of this gorgeous artwork here are Kel and Lila and look how amazing they look wow I can't get over them if they I think the only thing that would be better than these would be like a a court of mist and fury inspired or maybe six of crows oh my gosh imagine six of crows inspired cards someone needs to make them let's do this and speaking of six of crows one of my favorite items this year was from fay crate i believe and it was this grisha globe so it's a globe that has the map of the whole grisha verse on it we've got the true sea we've got navi zim and then we've got um, Ravka right there and so that is a beautiful little display piece for my Six of Crows shelf. And then speaking again of display pieces for the Six of Crows shelf, this came in a Wick and Fable box and it was the shadow box of No Mourners No Funerals. Look how incredible this looks. It's Ketterdam I think down here and then it says No Mourners No Funerals which is of course Kaz's tagline and I just love this so much. The only thing I don't love about it is that it sits up here and every time I accidentally bump this, it falls down and like bruises me, but you know, it's fine. Then we have these beautiful coasters inspired by different quotes that have to do with libraries. And let's see here. So we've got four coasters and we have libraries were full of ideas, perhaps the most dangerous and powerful of all weapons. That's one. We've got book spoke mind to mind, soul to soul, across the abyss of time and distance. That one. Imagine a place where the dead rest on shelves like books. When in doubt, go to the library, of course, a Hermione quote. Then we got a very exciting item that I think was going to be on everyone's list of favorite items they received in book boxes this year and that was the Goblet of Fire Kara Kozik mug that came in the Owl Crate box and look how gorgeous this one is. So we've got the first task with the Hungarian Horntail and then we've got the second task with the lake and the mermaids and then there's the Bobaton wagon and the Durmstrung ship. And then we've got the third task with the Triwizard Cup in the middle of the maze. And then of course the graveyard over here. Just a beautiful, beautiful mug. I luckily got on the pre-sale and got all three of the mugs that are currently out. And then we're receiving the fourth one. If you didn't know, we're receiving the fourth one in January's Owl Crate box. So I'm so excited. Then the last item that I'm excited to receive out of all of my boxes this year was the Owlcrate Reading Planner. This is exactly my aesthetic and I love it so much and I love the inside and I'm so excited to use it. And then lastly, I did want to go through the two books that I was most excited and most pleased to read this year. 
and the first one is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, which tells the story of Elizabeth, who is a librarian at the Great Library, and it's her job to secure and defend these grimoires, or books that can become alive, and right now they're dormant, but then Elizabeth gets framed for one of the books going missing, so she goes on a quest with one of her biggest enemies, and together they are searching for who actually stole the book. And then secondly is Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpretto, which tells the story of a place where there was a war, and 16 years later there's two sisters who all they want to do is be Phoenix Riders, but they can no longer do that because the Phoenix Rider population has diminished. Then one day these sisters get in a fight and Veronica goes off by herself and discovers a crew of Phoenix Riders. However, they only accept males, so she has to disguise herself as a male to join them. So, so, so good, and I cannot wait for Heart of Flames to come out in February. And before I go, I of course need to do my Day 21 Advent Calendar. So let's see who we got today. Finally, we got Hagrid. I've been waiting for him. So here is Hagrid. Look at his little tie. Oh my goodness, he is precious. I love Hagrid with my entire heart. Yes. <laughs> I know Hermione's gonna be in one of these last two. And if Hermione's in the next one, I really don't know who's going to be in the last one. So I'm interested to see. I feel like I'm forgetting someone really obvious, but I really don't know who it's going to be. So that's all for today's video. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing my week four of the Magical Readathon and then talking about what books I'm taking with me on my trip. And then Monday I do have a very special announcement. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye friends!